Hi everyone, I'm here with Morgan Womack, who is graduating from Grand Haven High School this year. Morgan, can you introduce yourself and just tell us a little bit about how long you've been going to First Pres and what your plans are after graduation? Hi, so I'm Morgan. Um, I've been going to First Pres ever since I was a little kid. Um, and I've been involved with the youth group, gone on a couple mission trips. Um, and so I've just been involved throughout the church as I grew up. Um, and a little bit about my future, is that what you said? Okay. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to attend MSU in the fall to study journalism. Yeah, for those of you who don't know Morgan, you are one of the editors for the Grand Haven High School paper too as well. Yeah, I'm the co-editor-in-chief of the Bucks Blade. That's awesome. So you probably have read some things that Morgan has written already. And fun fact, Morgan gave one of the awesome sermons this year at Youth Sunday. So if you haven't already seen that, I encourage you to go back and watch the service. So thanks for joining us today, Morgan. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what it's been like to be a senior in the midst of a pandemic? Yeah, um, so I mean, the first day off of school, I was kind of expecting like, okay, it'll just be a couple weeks and we'll come back and go back to normal. Yeah. Um, but then ever since everything started escalating and they asked us to like start dropping off our stuff at school and that school would be all online. Um, it was kind of sad that I couldn't be able to see my friends again. Um, for me personally, like I miss the Blade classroom yeah. um, <laughs> and I miss seeing those people. Um, and it just was kind of like, you started off like with this huge anticipation and then it kind of ended a lot less exciting than you thought. But during this time off from school, when I'm not doing my online classes, I've had a lot of time to spend with my mom and my brother. Um, and we've actually been fostering some dogs. That's been some um, awesome. good times. And um, we're adopting one of the puppies that we're fostering. So <laughs> we're really excited about that. And um, although I do miss my friends and miss school, it's kind of nice to be able to spend this last time with my family before I go off to college. You have a really encouraging, positive outlook. I feel like I could learn <laughs> from that a little bit. I, um, I just finished my own school year, so I'm not graduating, but last week, and I made the comment, it feels like a really quick and anticlimactic ending to what was kind of a long, crazy year. Yeah. So, but we're really proud of you, and um, I'm, again, really impressed by your positive attitude through all of it. Do you know if this is going to have any, what are you thinking about what it, the impact will be on college in the fall? Um, I know that there's been a few different things that MSU has been saying. They said they're looking at the possibility for online classes, but I really think they're hoping to bring students back. I think their main concern would be the dorms, but from a couple people, from a couple things I've heard, they're really hoping for us to go back in the fall for in-person classes. So we'll just see how that <laughs> does anything. I know a couple of the deadlines for like housing contracts were extended because of all this. Okay. So, but yeah, that's about it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I can't, I don't know. I, I think it'll be really interesting to see what happens in the fall, but you're right. It's good to just, everybody's just got to hope for the best. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, how can the community and first Pres be supporting you and your peers during this time? Um, I really think just kind of thinking about us and giving us strength. I know some of us have a few AP classes. So like I have my last AP test this Friday um, and school is completely done until that final AP test is done. But I know people have some testing this week. They had some last week um, and just kind of giving us some positive messages or reaching out um, is always good too. So, yeah. Yeah. What is it like then? What has been taking AP t tests online? What has that been like? Um, I took my first one on the 13th. That was my AP lit test. And it was weird. <laughs> um, you had to log in like 30 minutes before and then sign in. Um, and then you just have to wait. And then it has this timer and it's like, okay, you're going now. And then you just fill it all in. It's actually kind of nice because I can type it like on, instead of writing it all out like regular AP tests. Um, but it's weird because they really shorten them all to be only 45 minutes long. Oh, wow. So, and for my AP Lit one, it was just one essay. They graded you on one single essay. Wow, I was okay. Like, okay. It's kind of a lot of pressure, but um, yeah. it's kind of nice because you finish and you're like, okay, I'm done with that class. So, yeah. Wow, that, that's way different from when I took AP exams <laughs> in yeah. high school. Wow. 
Well, um, how can we be praying for you and your peers? Um, I would just say praying for us to get through this um, last week, praying for us missing graduation or missing our friends while we're being socially distant. Um, yeah, and just kind of supporting us as we're almost graduated. Yeah. All right. I'll, can I pray for you now? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's pray. Lord, thank you so much for the gift of Morgan, for her beautiful ability to spread awareness by writing in the newspaper at school and for all of the future big things that we know you're going to have her do. Thank you for the gift of her joy and positivity, even in the midst of these present circumstances. We pray for Morgan and her peers as they finish strong and graduate. May they embrace how truly wonderful of an accomplishment that is. Be with them as they transition into the next phase of their lives. Please grant them with peace and may they know that they are loved in the midst of that. It is your, in your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks, Morgan. Um, and if anybody wants to celebrate Morgan or any of our other graduating seniors, you can still email me and I'll give you a name and an address to keep lifting them up and letting them know how truly awesome they are right now. So, thanks. <laughs>